Hey y'all, it's Sierra, aka Capricorn Moon Goddess. This is a quick video just showing y'all a new deck that I got. It came out today. It was released today. Um, and I just got it in the mail. But this is one that I ordered a long time ago. I think I got it on pre-order, but it just took a really long time for them to get done with it. Like, I think I waited a long time for this. So let's go ahead and open it. And then I will show y'all what the book looks like. And then I will do a flip through where I'm just showing each of the cards. So if you don't want to see like anything about the book, you can just go to the timestamp in the comment section or the description box and click on the walkthrough part. I'm not going to be talking on the walkthrough. It's just me showing the cards with some music playing in the background. Because I really don't like the videos where they talk too much about the day. I just want to see what the cards look like, okay? So, this is the Green Witch's Oracle deck. Embrace the wisdom and insight of natural. So, it's talking about um, herbs, essential oils, all of that. Y'all know I like my herbs and essential oils. It is really hard to open this. I just messed up my nails trying to open this box. So it does have the thumb thingies, but it's so hard to open. It is so snug and tight. <laughs> okay. So that's one thing to note about the box. It's really hard to open. We're going to go ahead and cleanse the energy since this is new. I like to take my tuning fork and just let the vibration go through the deck. And I'm saying a prayer as I let the vibrations go through the deck. So to me, that's a quick way to cleanse a deck that you just get. It smells really nice. It smells like new paper. <laughs> so if you're like me and you like those kind of smells, I really like the way this smells. I'm going to actually uh, take some spruce oil, rub it on my fingers to cleanse the deck with that as well. I thought it would be fitting since this is a natural deck. It's an earthy type of deck. So using spruce oil, cleansing this deck of any negative energies entities spirits and or attachments and i just like to go on the edges of the deck to get all of the cards some people will literally wipe down each and every card i'm not about to do that <laughs> i'm not about to do that but i will do like the edges and that way i am actually touching each of the cards So if you see shininess on the backs, it's because of the oil I just used. And I just used some spruce essential oil. To cleanse the energy, you can use lavender, you can use whatever essential oil you want to use. Okay, so once again, this is the Green Witch's Oracle deck. Embrace the Wisdom and Insight of Natural Magic, and it's by Erin Murphy Hiscock, the author of The Green Witch. She has a lot of books out, and that's one of them. She does a lot of talking about like herbs and plants and things like that. It was illustrated by Sarah Richard. Hopefully I said that right. It's either Sarah Richard or Sarah Richard. I don't know how you pronounce it, but there it is. Nice earthy look. 
to the deck. She has a message on the back. If you want to pause it to read the message, you can. I'm not going to do that. I paid about $17 for this on Amazon. I think the regular price is like $19. Um, so that's not bad. They just had it a little small sale. But $19 is not bad. This is what the back of the deck looks like. I wasn't expecting it to be black. <laughs> I don't know why. I was expecting it to be like green or something. But this is a nice back. It is reversible. And um, there's no gilding on the cards. That probably helped as far as making it a cheaper deck. Not putting the gilding on it. And how many cards are there? They're not numbered. Yeah, they're not numbered. So let me see how many cards. I don't know. I'll have to look on the website to see. Does it tell you on the book or on the box? Yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming it's like probably 35 to 54. I really don't know. If I can, I'll put it on the screen, but I don't want to spend too much time looking for that. Okay, so this is the book. And it does have color, so that's nice. It's always nice to get like color in your books because a lot of guy books are black and white, but I'm noticing more and more of them are in color so that's nice it's not too thick of a book so the table of contents is broken down into understanding the deck oracle deck basics how to get to know your deck how to use the deck things like that um how to read oracle cards and then oracle card spreads so for those of you that like to use spreads they do have spreads here I'm not a spread girl. I don't want to have to try to remember, you know, what each number means and all that. But they've got a one card spread, a three card spread, which is the past, present, future. Um, five cards spread, which they're calling the elements. And a six card spread, which they're calling the tree. They've got nine cards, 12 cards. Okay, so yeah, there's one, three, five, six, nine, and 12 as far as the different spreads that they have. So I think that's pretty good, you know, for those of you who use spreads. And then part three is the cards and how to interpret them. So this is where you'll find the meanings of the cards. I'm hoping they are in alphabetical order since I'm not seeing any numbers. I don't see any numbers on here. Let's see. It's not alphabetical order. <laughs> broom is first and then altar is after broom. So it's definitely not alphabetical order. So, hmm, how is this organized? It might be a little difficult if you're trying to quickly find um, the meanings of the cards. I don't think there's a table of contents. There's no table of contents. But once again, this is a cheap deck. It's nice quality, but it's only 17 to $19. So I think they had to sacrifice some things in order to make it more affordable. So yeah, I you would just have to like sit here and look, flip through it and find whatever page you're looking for. If it's organized in any type of way, I'm not seeing what way it's organized in. And I don't want to sit here and take too much time. Okay, so let's go to 
basil. I love basil essential oil. It's one of my favorites. So let's see what she says for basil. This is what the card will look like. So it will have the herb on it and then it will have some keywords. So basil is good for prosperity, luck, and love. I do agree with that. I have researched a lot of these herbs. So yes, um, that is what I use basil for myself. So in the card or in the book, it says basil, prosperity, luck, love card, meaning basil is one of the most versatile herbs in a green witch's toolkit full of positive energy. It can draw good things into your life. Basil has been known to dispel fear, confusion, or any weakness and was even used as an aromatic by ancient Greeks to attract love. In this way, basil is all about forward movement. The basil card tells you that the time is right for something that you may have been hesitant about in the past. The time for planning and preparing is over. Go forth with confidence. It's an auspicious time. This is a great moment to indulge in love or take a risk. Basil has your back and luck is on your side. Then we have a reflection. Reflection. Have you been scared to take a leap or risk that may pay off greatly? Um, I wouldn't have thought to use basil as forward movement, but I definitely can see why she's saying that. Okay, starting something new, um, like starting new love, starting a new job, starting a new career, bringing in something new. A lot of times people are using basil um, as a way to manifest something to help them move forward in whatever area of life, whether it be prosperity, love, or wish fulfillment, whatever. So that makes sense to me. I like how she has more than just the herb. She has a cup and she has some ladybugs. The ladybugs represent luck. So that can help you to like remember that basil is good for luck, okay? Um, and that's it. So each card doesn't have a whole lot of information. It's just one um, page per card as far as the words. So it's really quick for you to be able to look in the book. But yeah, so let's get to the good part and um, look at the cards. So if you are here to see the cards, we are about to start the walkthrough now.
All right, y'all. So that was the walkthrough for the Green Witches Oracle deck. That was my first time seeing the cards. And I have to say, I am very impressed with the cards. So, um, and again, it is a fairly cheap deck. So you don't have numbers on the cards and you don't have, from what I can see, um, a pay like a what do you call it table of contents or glossary or whatever to be able to find the cards quickly they don't appear to be in alphabetical order in the book however i really really like this deck and i'm happy that i purchased it the card stock is fine for me um it's not too thick and it's not too thin i think it'll do just fine my favorite card stock is linen or like the rose petal. This isn't linen or rose petal, but it'll do, okay? It's medium as far as if it's good or bad. I think it's just normal in between. I was impressed at how much this deck had in it, how much information. So it's not just herbs. Like some decks will have just herbs. This deck had seasons in it. It had summer, winter, fall. It had fog in it, um, snow. I, I don't think I've ever seen snow in a herbal <laughs> deck, but it had a snow card in it. Let me see. It's got animals in it. So birds and bees got animals. We've got the tools that we use to actually garden with mortar and past pestle. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. The thing that you smash the herbs in and then we've got tinned, like tinned to your garden. I don't think I've seen the word tinned in any herbal deck yet. So y'all know I love words and I'm always trying to make sure my decks are expansive as far as the vocabulary that's used. So you could take tinned to mean a couple different things, okay? Um, like tendering money to somebody or tending to your garden, okay? Um, here's that fog card. So having snow and fog in the deck, wasn't expecting that, but hey, that's cool, right? You've got soil. So they she really included everything that's involved in gardening, not just the herbs themselves, okay? She's got the leaves here. She's got plants. She's got herbs. She's got fruits in here. Again, the tools that you use to garden with. She has really good keywords. I've only seen one crystal. I didn't notice any other crystals in here, but we have carnelian, energy, leadership, creativity. I didn't see any other crystal, so I'm wondering why she just decided to put one crystal in it, but not a big deal to me. Um, we've got walking staff. I think this is really cool to have this because all the people who are supposed to be wise or garden um like older people that garden you'll see them walking with a staff like in all the storybooks and things like that so i think it's cool that she made this card she's got a preserve card for preservatives <laughs> i think that's cool hedges earthworm so yeah, I really, really like this deck. The fact that she put animals in it, she put herbs, she put fruit, she put even the tools that you use to garden. Um, and she has a lot of different keywords in here. You know how, one of the reasons why I don't get a whole lot of herb decks, I have, I have a few, but I don't like the keywords on a lot of them. It'll be the same keywords over and over again like it'll just be one word that says courage or one word that says strength or one word that says beauty or you know I'm just tired of seeing the same old words over and over again and sometimes the herbal decks tend to not have the type of words that I want them to have um so I really like the vocabulary that she uses um, and I like the fact that she gives more than one keyword for each card. So you can take what you already know about these different herbs and um, combine it with what she put on there. Now, I have small hands. So it's going to be hard for me to grip these, but I was able to grip these with my small hands. 
It's a little bit too thick for me to riffle shuffle though. So I would have to split this deck in half in order to be able to riffle. So if you have small hands, Actually, it's kind of hard to ripple this deck with even with splitting it in half. And it's not because the cards are too thick or anything. It's because they're too tall for my little hands. But there are other decks I can split it in half and ripple shuffle just fine. So, yeah. They do bend when you ripple shuffle, but you can bend them right back. But yeah, so if you got small hands, it's going to take a minute for you to be able to grip the cards and then ripple shuffle. So if you like to do the bridge, like I like to do the bridge, it's, it's harder with these cards to me than it is for other cards. But at least I can shuffle them that way. There are other cards where I have to shuffle them this way because they're just way too tall. Um... But yeah, so the card stock is pretty good. It should last fairly long, but it's still um, thin enough and flexible enough to shuffle if you have normal size hands. I just happen to be a very small person <laughs> with very little hands. So yeah, shuffling is a little bit harder for me. So there, that's my first um, impression on the Green Witch's Oracle deck. There are a few that have this title. So if you search for it, if, you may see other decks come up but um so you just have to look for the one that looks like this okay she has a lot of books and or or journals out too um i have some of her books in my kindle library i just haven't read them yet but a lot of her books right now they are available on kindle unlimited if you have a kindle unlimited account so yeah I like this deck. I can't wait to use it. So y'all will be seeing this in upcoming readings. I don't really do like sample readings when I go over the decks that I get. It's just a quick video to show y'all the deck and my initial thoughts on the deck. So thank you for taking the time to watch. If you would like to purchase this deck, I will put a link um, in the description box or the comment section for you to purchase the deck on Amazon. Um... If you already have it, let me know if you like it or not. If you don't have it, is it something that you're interested in? Do you all have any other decks that you want me to make videos on? I have so many decks, but I haven't made videos on all of them because I don't have time. But if there's a specific deck you want to see, let me know in the comment section. And if I have it, then I can make a video. So thank you for taking the time to watch. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day. Toodles!